know you when we spoke last time you said you've been getting lots of commissions and stuff so what are you allowed to talk about what you're working on now well i can talk about the things that have been announced because you know it, i i I, uh, because somebody else has already talked about that. Yes, yes, I would um, never ask you to do something that you can't do. I'm working on an adaptation of uh, The Princess Bride, Bill Goldman's great uh, novel. Yes, and fabulous. Uh, uh, for, the, for the stage. Um, uh, so I'm doing that. I'm doing, uh, I, 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 I'm adapting, because I, I, I had such a good time with Peter and the Starcatcher, I'm adapting uh, the, uh, Sarah Gruen's novel, Water for Elephants, for the stage. Um, and, that's, a, uh, that's a lighthearted, that's a lighthearted. It's a very, and it's really easy. It's really easy to, it's really easy to have a, an animal stampede on stage, especially after Julie Taymor did one in the Lion King. Right, right. It's really easy to top Julie Taymor. Yeah. So, so yeah. um, but that's the challenge. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm having a, a wonderful time doing that. Uh, that's uh, directed by uh, Jessica Stone, a brilliant young uh, woman who is, um, you know, who's going to be the next Jerome Robbins. And, um, uh, and- We'd love to uh, hear about female directors. Yes, yes. of course. Yes. Um, I'm, I am, uh, I'm working with uh, uh, somebody you may have heard of named Steven Spielberg. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's he, ringing a bell, ringing a bell. He's, he's producing, um, there was a TV show about eight years ago called Smash. And, of course. Uh, and um, uh, Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman wrote a lot of wonderful songs. And Christopher Braw was in that. We love Christopher. All our pals were in it, and um, and uh, it it was on television for a year or two. Yes. And uh, in the con in the course of it being on television, Mark and Scott wrote a lot of songs. Um, and someone came to my friend uh, Bob Martin, and uh, who's who is a great who is a, a genuinely great writer. And uh, and asked him if he was interested in in uh, in taking those songs and taking their idea for a musical within the TV show, and introducing it as an actual stage musical. Um, uh, and he wasn't. And but we were hanging out <laughs> a lot at that time. I and he thought that was going to happen. Actually, I was waiting for that. Well, you know, he said to me, "Yeah, I was asked to do this, but I, I just doesn't. You know, it like there's it's." They, they're acting like there was a show there and there wasn't a show. It was, it was just like a few songs because it was something that took place but within- But the magic, it felt like it was a show. And uh, uh, he said, uh, he, but we, were, we have a good time together. And he said, it would be fun to write something together. Do you, you know, what do you think? And I said, well, I, I, don't, think, I don't think we should do a musical. I don't think we should take what they were doing and present it as an actual musical because it's not. But, um, and I don't, also don't think, um, there having already been two musicals about Marilyn Monroe on Broadway, um, that it's, necess it's necessary. They were both unsuccessful. Um, it's, I don't, I, it, you know, and, and she had only recently, um, you know, passed away. Now you kind of have to remind people who Marilyn Monroe was. And- Some, um, some of the newer people. Well, you know, a, a lot of the newer people. Yeah. Actually. They, there were eight minutes of rolling stock in the, uh, in the pilot episode of Smash because they focus grouped it and people didn't know. So they had to show who, she, they had to show her. So people go, oh, 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 yeah, okay, I get it. I'm so feeling when you very her, old right now. Anyway, I thought, very, very old, okay. I thought it seems like, why would, it, a funny idea might be what a, what a, um, what a uh, crazy idea it would be to do a musical uh, about Marilyn Monroe. And so we had a giggle about that, and that's what we pitched back to the producers, a musical that was very sort of social media driven and, um, you know, has disaster written all over it. Yes. Um, and uh, for a variety of reasons uh, that are, that all struck us as pretty humorous, and we wrote up a pitch and, and, uh, um, and Mr. Spielberg saw it and said, I want to produce this. So, um, so, uh, so there's that. Um, so that, that's, Three, I think. And then I, I'm, I, and I then think that's good. I, I think that's enough. I think you've got some nice names in there. I think there'll be a little bit of a buzz. I, I'm not worried about you, Rick. I think you're going to survive this pandemic well. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to do as much TV work as I can now during this yeah. lull because it's a way to actually earn a living. And you know, God knows, um, you know, it, it, it's nice to have some revenue. And yes. what people need to remember, um, or or. If, if people are watching this and they already know this and understand, is to tell their Congress people and their senators, uh, you know, uh, we have been 
uh, our industry ceased to exist on March the 12th. Right. And, um, and, there's, and nobody's been making any money. Uh, the people, you know, there's no way for people who have devoted their lives to acting, to, uh, to uh, you know, working, uh, uh, working backstage, uh, to doing setting oh, and the, down. Setting the and, down. And, and cleaning the costumes and making sure that everything works in the theater. And the props all, and those, the, yeah. all those thousands and thousands of people who 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 earn their living um, working in the theater industry uh, have been at a complete and total standstill, and it's really really hard. And it's a major fun. major it's a major major industry that goes throughout the whole country. It's not a yeah. little. And of course, it really affects funny. it affects many other industries right. in New York: the hospitality industry, hotels, and taxis, mm -hmm. and restaurants, and merch stores, and all the businesses around Midtown Manhattan. Um, uh, but uh, until the theater comes back, uh, um, you know, the industry really needs some help. And one way that, as a writer, I can I can help myself and some other and, and actors is to uh, is to is to crank some stuff out for um, uh, television because that is on the verge of coming back now. So, uh, and it's, e it's an easier proposition than gathering a thousand people in the, you know, in a, in a big room. Rick, so, thank yeah. you so much. I was, unfortunately, our time we're is done? up. We're done. I mean, it's very I'm just getting you, uh, overheated. Will you come back? Will you come back? Can we do this you again? Can't come back. I'm, I'm always here. I, okay, you know, so, but, so let's you just have to come leave, back. I'm going to come back. So let's just leave it on that note that we need to make sure that people remember the importance of theater and to support their local theaters and to write to our governors and government. It's not vintage either. It's not like it's, we don't have to remember it like we have to remember to eat our vegetables. We have to no, remember. No, we have to do something. We have to remember it because it actually is important. The only people it's never been important to in this culture are our. Uh, elected officials. They have always sort of sissified it and made it look sort of fancy and elitist and uh, they don't understand it. Uh, but there, up until March, there had never been a better year for the theater in oh, terms of yeah. attendance. And the year before that, there had never been a better year than that. And, and it has been like that. The audience for theater has been growing and growing and growing because theater has been getting more and more and more essential to our lives. It is not fancy and it's not just for fancy people or for some people who aren't like anyone that we know. It's for everyone that we know. And it's and actually- And that's the importance of theater because- And it's, it's, the cure, yeah. it's the cure for what ails us. It's-, it's Exactly. It's, it's, and the documentaries of tomorrow. I can't wait to read the plays and see the plays that are being written about what's happening right now. You know, I, 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 I'm so anxious for, um, for us to come back. We so. will discuss that in our next session. It's going to cut us off. We're going to commercial. Not really. I don't have commercials. But our time is up. Thank you so much. I've always Thank wanted to say that. Right. And now a commercial break. Thank Rick, you, dear. Thank you. I adore you. Thank you. It's family first and